In this video, we will explore how to make a post request from a React Native app. We will use the JSON placeholder API as our example, posting a new post title and body. The JSON placeholder API readily accepts post request to slash posts endpoint, allowing us to focus on the React Native code. For more information, you can see the guide on creating a resource. All right, step one, begin by creating state variables to track the post title and body. We will also introduce a variable to monitor the data submission process. Is posting, and the initial value is false. Step two, bind these variables to UI elements. Wrap the current JSX with a React fragment And then we will include a view above our list. So view style is equal to styles dot input container, which we will define shortly. Within the view, we add two text inputs for post title and body. So text input, which is auto imported from React Native. We set style is equal to styles.input. Placeholder is equal to post title. Value is equal to the state variable post title. And on change text, we call set post title. We're going to duplicate this and change post title to post body. We will also include a button to submit this data to the API. So button title is equal to, we will use the is posting state to conditionally render the button text and also disable it. So if the submission is in progress, adding followed by three dots, else the button text is add post. We will also define on press is equal to add post, which again we are yet to define, and disabled is equal to is posting. With the JSX in place, let's define the styles. For the input container, we set a white background color, some padding border radius, border width, and finally, some margin. As for the text input itself, we're going to set height to 40, border color, gray, border width of one, margin bottom, eight, padding eight, and finally, border radius, eight as well. So input container and input styles for the view container and the individual text inputs. Make sure to also import button component at the top. If we take a look at the UI, we have add post doesn't exist. So let's comment out the on press prop for now. We should be able to see our card component at the top. Now our Android device isn't responding, but that's okay as we can still proceed with our iOS device. We have our post title, post body, and the add post button. For the third and final step, let's define a handler for the button click. So on comment, on press is equal to add post, and let's define the function. This is an async function. And at the start, we set is posting to true to disable the add post button. Let's now make the post request using fetch. Const response is equal to await fetch. And the URL is the same as the get request without the limit parameter. 
so slash posts. To fetch, we pass in a second argument, which is the config object. We set method to post headers content type application slash json and the body of this request json.stringify we pass in an object where we set title is equal to the post title state variable and body set to post body. We will then convert the response to JSON and call it new post. We will then update the list by prepending the newly added post to the start of the list. So set post list is going to be an array where we add the new post at the start. We then spread the existing array as it is. Finally, we will reset the state of our form. So set post title to an empty string, set post body to an empty string, and set ease posting to false. That is our add post function. If we head back to the UI, fill in title, test title, and test body, click submit, you should see the button being disabled with different text for a fraction of a second. And now you should see the newly added post at the top of the list, test title and test body. This of course is not persisted and is lost as soon as we restart the application. But this is how you make a post request from a component in React Native. We are using fetch in this section, but you can use something like Axios or even TanStack Query. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.